Good morning, I'm Brad with Keller Williams. I'm here with Bruce Sears from Bruce Sears State Farm. Uh, we're talking about home insurance and what you need to know. First off, you want to buy the best policy you can because uh, this is the biggest investment for many people's lives. Most of our lives, we don't own anything more valuable than a home. And there's so much to a home that needs to be insured uh, from the structure and the way it's the home is put together, you need to have it insured. We've had different types of roofs that some companies won't even insure. So you really need to pull together all the factors of you living in your home and, and make sure it's covered well. So what should someone ask when they're shopping for insurance? First thing would be is to find out the value of the home. Let's make sure that we have adequate coverage in case there's a total loss, you have money to rebuild a new home. Okay. Um, the second thing to know is, is there enough coverage for all my stuff? We live in America. We put everything we can in the house that we live in. They're full of stuff. And so much so that we insure 75% of the value of your home just for your belongings, just for your personal property in the home, in the garage, lawnmowers, whatever you got around your house. It's covered for up to 75% of the value of the home. Okay. And uh, what about uh, pools? Is that a different coverage, things like that? Uh, we do not have that different. But you need to make sure you have strong liability, mm -hmm. particularly if you have young kids coming over and trying to swim in your pool. You want a heavy, heavy liability on your home so that it's covered and and it doesn't have to be a financial tragic event also. Now, what about uh, people slipping and falling on your steps, dog bites, uh, people, I don't know, kids falling off your roof because they're up there screwing around. Does, does your home insurance cover those injuries or is that different? Insurance? It's it's all covered under, a, there's a medical, which is guest medical. Mm -hmm. Guest medical is anybody who's at your house that doesn't live there, they get hurt on your property. We've got a pile of money sitting there for them, and you can pick how much you want for that coverage. Okay. Most people depend on their own health insurance, but a lot of times the guest medical really helps out with with those broken arms or some you know kid throws a controller and hits somebody else in the face. Okay. Um, it's it, it's happened. It's happened. And so, does uh, what about uh, fences and fences? Does your home insurance cover that or no? Yes. Um, all your exterior. Uh, buildings, uh, other structures is what the industry usually calls them, mm -hmm. uh, is covered by your homeowner. Mm -hmm. And and the minimum coverage is usually 10% of the value of your home. Okay. You can always get extra. So if you have an extra big shop or fancy fencing that's, you know, anything that's unique to your home, you want to make sure you inquire and have it covered well. Okay. And is there different, uh, like with your car insurance, you can get different too. Yes. Yes. Most home insurance had in historically we've done just a set amount of dollar amount. Most of today is a thousand dollars. Um, but the industry is starting to head towards percentage deductibles. Mm -hmm. And they're doing that because it's a big cost savings and uh to the companies themselves. So your premium actually is a little lower if you go with some type of most of our customers go with a half a percent now. So you pay a lower monthly premium, but you might pay a little bit more deductible. Yes, if you're correct. Home. Okay, correct. okay. So you save money month to month. You hope, you, obviously, you hope you never use your home insurance. Right. Yeah, the average, <laughs> average homeowner uses a claim once every 17, 18 years. So okay, it's, it's pretty rare. Okay. So, Bruce, is there anything else uh, people should know that their homeowner's insurance might cover for them? Yeah, there's a ton of things that your homeowner's insurance can cover. Stuff like uh, jewelry, uh, hobbies that you're collecting items, you can have those all get all covered under a good homeowner's policy. Um, one that's more uh, new to the field of insurance is identity restoration, where you have some identity theft occur and you lose your retirement money or some of it or whatever. It, it's up to fifty thousand dollars of coverage and only costs a couple bucks a month. So. It's really inexpensive to get get good coverage for all aspects of, of your personal life. If you have questions about buying or selling your home, give me a call, 509-312-4000.
3-5-0-9-2-1. So if you have insurance questions, give Bruce a call. Bruce, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Call at 509-697-4900 or email me at bruce at brucesears.net.